Hello everybody, it's Charlotte here, or Mama Char. Welcome back to a brand new video on this channel. And today's video, I actually want to make a response video for my last video because of clips like this. Okay, if you guys don't know me, and if you guys don't think I do, let me tell you guys something. I pass in society. I don't get any shit at all. Anyways, as you guys can tell, I want you guys probably want to know what I think about my last video. My last video isn't a bad video and it wasn't like um it wasn't something that I wouldn't take off. Reason being is because of the intention of the video and what I really was trying to say. Um do I agree with everything I said on that video? Probably not, to be honest with you. But I do that's why I want to make this video for you guys today because I just wanted to come off clean, come off clear to you guys about how I feel about all this stuff. Obviously, if you say you pass, you're gonna get shit back and of course last video has six dislikes i mean it's not high amount for a video but for me it's kind of like up there i got a comment that got like four likes saying i wasn't passable now i'm going to talk to you guys a bit what i mean by pass being passable passable to me is not on a line spectrum like oh you pass and then you don't pass it's more like everyone has ex more uh, their own experiences of passing i've dealt with shit in public because of being trans before I have. I really have. People don't think I, uh, uh, I want to say that, but I, 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 I have. The thing is, is from the bottom of my heart, and to, in all honesty, I have not dealt with being um, situated like that in a long time. I have been called lighting sir on the phone once, and that's because um, my voice isn't completely passable, and that's obvious. Um, if someone were to talk to me for a while, they probably would question after a while but when it comes to being out in public and operating and being around people I pretty much like I said get treated like a woman now I'm not saying that that all oh, it's all of a sudden I'm passable because of that reason another reason is because I've had experiences with people you know I don't even know where I'm going with this one of the comments I got was people just are polite and nice to me because I don't come off as weird or whatever out there. And I want to talk to you guys about that one. Obviously, I can sit here and I could tell you so many things and it just doesn't, it's not going to matter because it doesn't change your opinions on me. And it's funny how when you ask people, do I pass? Everybody wants to say you pass. But then the moment you say, I pass, everyone's like, no, you don't. You know what I mean? It's, it's a weird thing. Do I think, do I think I pass? 85% uh, When I say pass, I don't mean 100% to zero. I say either mostly pass or underpass. I didn't say it in the video just because I didn't want to make it more complex than it should have been. More like just passable and unpassable. When you're passable, it doesn't necessarily mean that you completely pass 100%. That's just not how it works. I've looked at many trans women and that pass like crazy, but then you'll always find that one feature that kind of like almost shows that they're, you know, that they're transgender. And that's fine. It's really is fine. Um, obviously, I have several features. But in my opinion, based off of what I have experienced in life, was I haven't experienced people questioning my gender. And I'm talking about in the last year. I'm not talking about my entire transition because I have had problems when it came to, is that a boy or a girl? Sir, all that kind of stuff. I've had those issues. I'm not, it's not people get being polite. Trust me, guys. It's not. Maybe to a very few extent, maybe it is. But to most, no. Because people will call you sir if they just think that you're a guy. Because they just don't understand it. And that's a thing. But, um, you know, in, to, an ex in, to an extent, I, get, I just get treated. I don't go through problems. That's why I made that video yesterday. It was the fact that I didn't go through problems. I added the word passable and everyone got pro uh, problematic over it. The only reason why I said that is because I do operate in society. As far as I have in the past year, normally I don't go out in public and have problems. And that's not, I'm, I'm not saying that, that, that dictates all kinds of stuff. Cause I mean, I honestly know whatever I say, someone could react, uh, someone could um, counter that with something they want to say. And I can't, I don't know what to say to you about it. It's my experience and mine only. Everybody needs to understand that. Based off my life experience, I have experienced or not this point that I've been passable. Some people told me you would have never known that you're transgender. And I'm surprised. A lot of the times I'm very surprised at what they say. 
Just because someone can go to my YouTube channel and watch a video and say, oh, she has an Adam apple. Oh, she has this. Doesn't necessarily mean anything. Passable is a really weird thing. This is very complex. People like to associate with it, like, if you're passable, can you last in public talking to someone? I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I'm very open with my transition in life. I'm, with my social media. I, um, and I really don't want to say anything because I know how it could come off. And I'm trying my hardest not to, even though it, they're all evidence and I really can't say anything because I feel like people are going to sit there and take it the wrong way. But what I'm saying is, do I completely pass? No, I don't completely pass. When I say passable, I just say I can operate in society the way I wanted to without having an issue. And if, and if you have issues with it, doesn't necessarily mean you don't pass. You know, there, there, there might be some people that have very minimum issues that just don't pass. And, you know, the passing subject and non-passing subject is one of the most hardest subjects to talk about because people, it's so sensitive. And I don't want to... Um, deal with the backlash because I just know how uh, people can be especially with that video I think uh, it was probably the most negative I got off of my community and I understand your you know points and you know what there's gonna be a time when, I'm gonna, when I could say wow I came a long way and I have I have came a long way if you guys watched some of my old videos or my first videos you'll know that I came a long fucking way at the end of the day I'm not completely passable but I am possible to an extent where I could just operate in society and not really have issues. And that's the thing. It's the, it's the truth. I, 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 trust me guys, let me tell you guys something. When I go in public, sometimes I try to make sure, no, I, I want to make sure if someone's talking about me. I'll talk to a group of people, a group of young people, a group of old people. And sometimes after I talk to them, I'll listen up when they talk to their friends. And I've never heard them talk about me in a bad way. So, or in a way of saying, oh, that's, she's a boy or she's transgender or whatever. Not everybody is trying to be polite. I'm just saying. And it made me feel like upset when someone had told me, oh, they're just being polite to you. You're not passable though. And to you, everybody has their own opinions. To some people, I don't pass at all. To some people, I pass a lot. Some, some people say they don't even know. It's all different. You know what I mean? Obviously, you guys know I'm trans. Obviously, you guys see me on a video. And obviously, you guys see my features every single second of the day. But you guys aren't there to see my whole body and see how I react on a regular day basis. You guys have to see me right here. Right here. Anyways, guys, I just want to make this video because I want to respond to that, that stuff. I didn't, really didn't want to. I'm sorry if I stirred up a lot and... You know, hopefully that this video is, does a little better when it comes to people understanding my side and why I even said, um, do I, I, I feel like, um, I don't deserve to be an advocate because I really have not gone through anything. I really haven't. When I look at my life, I'm like, oh my God, you know what I mean? Like I hear stories from other trans women and I'm like, I've never experienced that. Doesn't make my situ doesn't make me better than them. Doesn't make me more beautiful than them. It. It just makes my journey my journey, and my journey is different. Anyways, guys, I hope you guys did understand. I hope you guys did like the video. If you guys did, leave it a like, uh, show some love, subscribe, and hit the bell button down below if you guys want to be notified about every single video I upload to YouTube. And also, go check out my links, follow me on social medias, and yeah. I love you guys a lot. Lots of like tater tots. I'm Mama Shar, and you guys are my Charlotte Tears. Bye. Mwah.